Hello, my name is Doug Ayers, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use my new Related Files Lightning component on your record pages, which will let you see all the files that have been shared to child records related to the main record you're viewing. You might recall that in Salesforce Classic, the Notes and Attachments Related list rolled up all the attachments that might exist on the record you're viewing, plus any of the related records, such as contacts, opportunities, and cases. In Lightning Experience, however, the Notes and Attachments Related list, and even the New Files Related list, only show the attachments or files that have been shared explicitly to the record you're viewing. But we know that we have files that may be shared to the other contacts, opportunities, and cases. So how do we get those to be seen in Lightning Experience without having to drill into each record separately? To add my new Related Files component to your pages, we need to do two things. First, in Lightning Experience, we're going to come up to Setup, and we're going to edit our page. We need to add the files related list to our page layout and then we can add using app builder my new lightning component here in the related section all we need to do is click in and then contextually on the right we will see a list of all our page layouts i'm going to click on the one that i know is assigned to me my account layout and i'll customize it in your org, you may have multiple page layouts that you need to adjust. We'll come to Related Lists. And I'm going to remove the classic Notes and Attachments Related List in favor for the new Files Related List. Now that I have this on my page layout, I will be able to include a standard Lightning component to show files on my page as well. So we'll just close out of this tab. Now we're back in App Builder. I'll refresh to pick up that new page layout. And there we see files. What I like to do is, in fact, up here at the top, if I click on the tab bar, I like to add a new tab and give it a custom label. I like to call it Files. And then I'll select my new tab. And over on the left, from our component palette, we want to take the single related list component, drag that in here, and we'll configure this to show the standard files related list. That's why we had to add it to the page layout to beginning. Otherwise, we would not have been able to chose it. Next, we'll add my custom related files component and just drag that right beneath it. Out of the box, there's a, the left navigation will show all relationships that exist on the parent record, the parent object. As the administrator setting up your page, you do have the option under child relationships to put a comma delimited list of the API names of the relationships you actually want on the page. Perhaps you want to cut out some noise or just focus in on certain relationships. For example, maybe I'm only interested in child cases, contacts, emails, opportunities, and tasks. And by putting those in there, it'll sort in the list. Now, when the context user, whoever is actually viewing the record, uh, sharing rules, all apply, and they'll, the user should only see relationships that are accessible to them. And we'll save our page, navigate back to our record. We can come over to our Files tab. And here, on one page, we have access to all the files that are shared directly on this record, but also on any of the related records for our contacts and our opportunities. 
the badge count tells you how many files are uniquely shared among all of those related records. For example, this presentation perhaps could have been shared to 10 opportunities uh, that either belong to this account, maybe some other accounts. Um, but if the file was shared multiple times, we only show it here once. You can click on the file and we open up the standard file preview component. My PowerPoint doesn't have any content in it. It's just here for demonstration purposes. But then we also have controls up at the top to download the file, uh, share the file or see where the file is actually shared to, get a public link, or even go drill into the file details and edit the records. The viewing the file details is convenient if you're trying to figure out what all records this file might uh, belong to. So we'll click that and we'll see here on the shared with. We see that it's shared with me and at least one other opportunity. And the file could have been shared with other groups, other opportunities and records throughout your Salesforce instance. I'll click on the opportunity to navigate back. So we started out on the account, saw that there was a file shared through one of the related opportunities, drilled into that file, clicked on the opportunity, and now we're over here looking at any files that may be shared to related records of this opportunity. This one does not, as you can tell by a glance looking at the badge counts of zero. If we came over to a contact, and if you've updated the contact and opportunity in these other lightning record pages, these files would be there as well. And we can quickly see, oh, Jack Rogers contact has some cases with some files shared to it. This really gets handy when you're working with cases. We know that oftentimes with email to case and doing support, you have emails going back and forth. And those emails might have attachments on them too. In Lightning Experience out of the box, we don't see that roll up of the attachments and files in the standard files related list. So it may be hard to go searching where was that email attachment, what's come in. But with the new related files component, it's very easy. We'll come over, we'll click on email messages, and all of the files that have been attached to any of the emails that belong to this case will show up here sorted by the last modified date. Easily accessible. Well, thanks for watching.